Hello everybody, it's me, Mary Kay, with the MK's Kay's Artful Journey. So today we're going to um, move on to working on a collage of flowers. So this is a painting that I did. I just put like a dots of paint and let it drip down and I thought, you know, that kind of looks like flowers. <laughs> So, um, anyways, I don't know if I said this. Welcome to MKK's Artful Journey. I appreciate that you're here, and I hope that you enjoy what we're about to do. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to use this paper. Let me look for a different one. Um, because it's too hard for me to cover up my work. <laughs> So, I'm just going to, you know, a lot of times we have these books that we, we altered. I'm just going to start with a book page because we have a lot of book pages. So, and we're going to work, we're going to put flowers on it. So, there's a bunch of flowers there. Actually, let's just cut that out a little bit. I'm just going to cut it down just a little bit. And then I have... Alright, where did that little thing go? Oh, it's up front here. Here it is. Oh, there's a little blackberry thing. That's not really flowers, so we'll just put that back. Here it is. That's cool. I might use that. Okay, so I thought this was neat. Because it's like the, the negative of the flowers. You just put that in there like that. And this has neat flowers on it. Ooh, that's kind of like a frame to that. Let's do that. Do it like that. I like to lay everything out, you know. And let me just do a little one of this. Maybe down the middle. I'll just put it right there. And so this was yesterday's challenge um, of the uh, mindful. <laughs> quarantine art challenge <laughs> it's like let me just let me just remember that I don't know I thought that piece was cool but I think that I'm going to use that for the chipboard oh this is pretty and Maybe a piece of this one. Give it a snip around this one. Because collage is all about, you know, covering up and creating, right? There we go. That looks like a good, pretty good collage. I do have this though. I don't know, maybe we'll, since we got this one here, well, actually let's move it down here. There, we'll put it down there. All right, and yeah, it looks okay. I don't know about this. Maybe a little thinner. A little bit thinner. Thinner, 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 thinner. Alright, that looks good. I'll go with that. Alright, so I'm gonna put all of these here. And I'm I'm gonna save that because I'm gonna 
Um, after I get all of it on here, I'm going to go ahead and add the words. Because then it'll be like a really cool thing. Okay. So let's take these off. And this time I'm going to use this watered down glue. I'm going to stick some on top. And I hope you can see me. Let me just, I'm going to tip you a little bit more here so you can see what's going on because I always work towards at the bottom. Okay, so I took all my brushes to wash because they're all full of stuff. So even this one is full. I should, probably should wash that one. Oh, but here's one over here. I'll do this one. I just, I don't want to do a lot. I'm just going to. Oh, look, that one has green on it. Oh, no big deal. That's the way I can see where the glue is, right? All right. So then, just lay that down. I'm going to lay it all the way to the corner. And I think I'll lay it up over the corner a little bit. Not that far, but... Far enough to wear. It'll be good. And then grab some more glue. And what did I say it was right here? This. Just lay that down. Let's see, what was next? This. I'll just go like, oh wait, for that is this. So I'm going to lay that in the corner here. And this. On top of that. Make sure we get it all saturated so that it sticks well. There we go. And make some more. Make some more green glue. And count this one. That all saturated over that way. And get the edges. Okay, so. I'm going to grab this one. Add it right in there. And then get this one. Oh, I was going to stick this one underneath. That's okay. I'm going to go over it a little bit. Well, Maybe we'll just do this. I didn't saturate, but saturate it with glue. We'll just stick it there because we can cut off whatever we don't use. Right? And then we got this one. Some of this. Okay. 
when I go to the grocery store later and get some um, bananas for my husband for work. I have them a dollar ninety nine a a a bag at grocery outlets. So I like to go there. There we go. And then I got this, which doesn't really fit now, <laughs> but I like it. I want it in there, so we're gonna we're gonna put it in there, and then we'll. Find something to put on the edge there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it right here. Yeah. Stick some of this underneath. Saturate and get it down. There we go. And then I'm just gonna do some this music page. <laughs> Says, oh dear, what can the matter be? So then I'll just saturate this. Put a little bit of music down. A little more. Music always looks good on everything. And you should always sing to your flowers so that they grow pretty, right? There we go. One way to clean out your brush is put glue in it. Just kidding, I don't know. There we go. So, ah, it's beautiful. So, I don't know. Maybe I should do it over here. I don't know. So that'll turn out beautiful. And we'll just lay that up there with the full paper. And that is my um, collage for the... <laughs> for May... I don't even know what the date is. Is that terrible? Well, I think it's May 27th. 926... May, May 27th, um, and, okay, so when I make these, um, uh, videos, um, for the Mindless Quarantine, uh, Artful Challenge, or Art Challenge, um, we are collaborating with, um, Liz, Liz Brewer, and she has the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorns group. So she has that for her Facebook page as well as her YouTube channel. And mine is the, um, is MKK's Artful Journey. And those are also, it's also my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. So, um, if you're liking what you're seeing and, um, please subscribe and please um, go over and see um, uh, the Scrappin' Unicorns, Scrappin' Lizzie Unicorns. She is a character. She really is. She, and just such a loving person. Um, one thing I'm going to read to you today from um, my prayer book. And... Um, so, this one is Moving Into Your Future. Lord, I surrender my past, present, and future to you now. Help me not to be anxious about my future, but to rest in the knowledge that my future is secure in you. I want to keep one foot in, et in eternity by never letting go of your hand. I want to store up so many treasures in heaven, and heaven will feel familiar the moment I arrive. And when I do take that final step into my eternal future with you, I trust that you will be there for me with all the light I need for that step too. There is 
surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Proverbs 23, um, that's, that's chapter 23, verse 18. And um, everybody have a blessed day and amen. Thank you. Bye.